Tadam! Hey, today is going to be, I think, part 3 of the Kappa CWK100 kettle. In the last video, we made a comparison between the CWK100 and the Brewista Artisan kettle, um, the sound that they make, and the temperature quality. So, today we are comparing some physical aspects of the kettle. I know this should be the first, but <laughs> I didn't have my um, overhead camera then. So today I'm doing that. So we have here the Kappa CWK100. And this is the Bruista Artisan Kettle. So if you can see, I'll remove the kettles for now. Right, if you can see, the base of the Kappa CWK100 is smaller than the Brewista. So the Brewista has a really big um, has a really big base while the Kappa CWK100 has a very small base. This is good because if you are trying to if you have a small space at home or in your coffee shop in your coffee bar then you wouldn't worry about fitting your um, Kappa CWK100, right? And while the Brewista have a very big base, it actually adds to its um, total look, right? So if you look at it, it's very beautiful. Even the, even the base adds to the beauty of the Brewista Artisan Kettle. Nevertheless, the drawback of this one is it is a bit hard to fit if you have a small space at home or on your coffee bar. Right. Another thing, another difference that they have is the power cord. Right. As you can see here, the Brewista Artisan um, base has a removable power cord. And you don't have the ability to shorten it. So if you, have a, if you have a long cord and the power supply is very near from your kettle, you're going to have a bit of a line of a power cord um, dangling, right? It's lying around the place. While the base of the Kappa CWK100, well, number one, the power cord of the, the Kappa CWK100 is not removable. It is fixed inside the base of the kettle. And at the same time, there you have a spool. So you actually have the ability to shorten your power cord. So if you are um, a bit OC like me, and you don't want unnecessary cable power cables um, around the table or your coffee bar you can do that to shorten your power cord right and then just plug this in and it's in it it will look very neat right now we're gonna do this um, one by one so I'm gonna put the Brewista artisan kettle aside for now right so if you look closely the base of the Kappa CWK100 is almost the same width of the kettle. There. They're almost the same width. So again, um, if you have a small space at home or your coffee bar, this will um, be easier to fit. At the same time, if you look here in front, yeah, there, if you look here in front, it has a rounded end okay so um it looks nice actually it looks nice that it has a rounded edge over there the only thing i might not like about this kettle is its finish it is brushed stainless steel you call this brushed stainless steel this is not matte this is brushed stainless steel um 
And brushed stainless steels um, tend to get a lot of fingerprints. Yeah, so when you touch it and then it dries there, the, can you see that? Yeah, so it tends to capture a lot of your fingerprints when you touch it. So it needs, it needs a bit of um, wiping from time to time. I think that's it. Again, this kettle is a one liter kettle. If you haven't seen the video of the first comparison, I'll put the link here. Right. Now let's do the Bruista artisan kettle. Right. As you can see, the base is um, overhanging the whole kettle. So it actually, it actually looks really nice. Um, but again, the only drawback with the very big base, it's difficult to fit on top of your coffee bar or if you have a small space at home, it's going to be a bit harder to fit, especially with the uneven, uneven shape of this base. I'll put both of the kettles again side by side for you to be able to see the difference in their um, size. The next thing that I want to try is their pouring, um, pouring ability. We're going to try pouring into this um, dripper. This is a fake Oria. I'm going to try and pour as low as I can. I just removed the paper so that you can see the angle of the, of the pour. Okay, so now I am pouring about two 1.8 grams per second. And we have a very straight um, stream. I am one, at 1.4 right now. Okay, now I wanna try, I wanna try doing the Kappa CWK100. So I'm trying to pour as close as possible to the bed. And we are pouring at, we are actually pouring at the same rate, around 1.4. And we are very low. Right. So I think um, there is no winner in that. So I think there is no clear winner in that. Because both of the kettles are able to pour very low into the coffee bed. While maintaining the 90 degree stream. Let's look at the angle of the spout. Hey, as you can see, the shape of the Bruista is like this, but it actually flares out. It flares upwards, right? It's the same as the Kappa Kettle. No? It flares up. It doesn't go down. Right. Um, I think that's it. We have covered all of the comparisons that we can make with the Brovista and the Kappa CWK100. Again, if you want to buy their Again, if you want to buy their kettle, Kappa is a Filipino brand. It is available online. Um, you can go to their Shopee store or message them on Facebook and Instagram. Um, the Kappa CWK100 is sold for only 3,799. So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!